in the Pacific, planes on ships made on the nose rendezvous under what were formerly considered impossible conditions. And simultaneously in the hazardous North Atlantic, amazing feats of bad weather navigation were performed. A convoy made a perfect landfall following a three-day storm, during which none of the usual observations could be taken. Something new in navigation was at work. What was it? It was secret. Top secret. One of the war's most precious. Those on the inside, those that knew, used a strange new word to describe it. That word was... Loran. Long. Range. Navigation. By the end of 1945, more than 3,000 naval ships were using Loran. 30,000 planes winging toward life and death objectives found their way with the help of Loran. So vital did Loran become to operations of the Pacific that Loran equipment was often lugged ashore under fire. A chain of Loran stations were set up, placing the seas with a network of radio lines of position. Here's what's behind her. This Loran station, manned by trained 